Hi everyone, Danella here with video number three. Change of plans for today. We've had quite a lot of movement over the weekend, so I wanted to address a practical tip to try and help with our current paper crisis. Um, I've got a little mascot to introduce you all to today. So here we have Cora, the coronavirus, and I'm going to talk more about Cora in a later video. So today what we're going to do is talk about how we can substitute some of our paper products. This morning I sent my truck driving partner off to work with his esky and also a few extra things in the esky. We still have hand sanitizer, but my partner had mentioned to me that his hands get very dirty while he's um, pack, unpacking food boxes and things like that. So I said, yeah, that's right, hand sanitizer does not work well when you have dirty, visibly dirty hands or greasy hands. So I went to an old fashioned trick that we used to do in the old days when I was young and played sport, and that was to prepare um, towels for uh, use during the day. So prepare yourself about a litre of water. Uh, you can use for hands, you can use um, dishwashing detergent. Later on I'll talk about toileting, so you might want to use a body wash instead if it's for toileting towels. So just a small squeeze into a litre of water, very small. You should not colour the water because you don't want to irritate your hands. And we're going to talk about um, hand irritation and hand washing in the next video. So just make sure that you wet your towel thoroughly and then squeeze out the excess. This is just a face washer. Hopefully some of you still have face washers at home. If you don't, get old towels and chop them up into face, wash, face washer sized portions. I like to fold it up neatly. And then get your Ziploc, hopefully we can still buy Ziploc bags in the supermarket and pop your, um, your face washer into the paper towel, in, oh, sorry, into our plastic bag and fasten it. Now, I send him off with a dry one as well. So when his hands are dirty, washes with this, straight back into the bag, dries with the dry one, brings them home at night into the washing machine. So this is single use, one day, and uh, we prepare fresh ones. You can take your towel, pop it in the washing machine, and your plastic bag, hang it up on the line. So give it a day, hanging up on the line. Same with the pa uh, your um, towel, make sure it thoroughly dries out on the clothesline, because drying out is very antiviral and antibacterial as well. Okay, now for toileting, obviously, you're going to have your um, bowl of water ready. You're going to prepare your um, pre-soaked towels with not too much. Remember, soap can be very irritating. Use a body wash for in the bathroom. And then in the bathroom, have a bucket ready. So after your toileting, you wash down with your, um, your towel, pop it in the bucket. That night, just get your um, pre-wash and pop in a, a tablespoon into your bucket. Um, put in enough water to cover whatever you have in the bucket, give it a good swirl, let it sit for a while so that your pre-wash powder dissolves and then throw it all into the washing machine. Put it on a cycle, then do your normal wash cycle. Hang out your items onto the clothesline, make sure they get a full day in the sun, out in the, um, or wherever, outside hanging to dry out thoroughly. So hopefully that will help you with your current paper crisis. Uh, remember you can make some towels out of old towels by just chopping them up. And um, I look forward to talking to you soon about how to protect your hands with all the soap hand washing we're doing at the moment. Bye for now.